Ah. Hello. Yes. <sighs> Alrighty. So, um... I've been seeing a recurring trend amongst people, you know, just in general, where they always have this desire. They're like, oh, yeah, man, I want to build a PC. I want to, I'm, I'm tired of getting all these terrible laptops and all these little computers that don't do anything. And I want to, I want a real PC. I want a, a real computer man's PC, right? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> So I've taken the liberty upon myself to educate the world, right? Uh, in this quick guide on just how to build a PC. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, you're gonna need some supplies, right? You can't build a PC. Oh, focus. All right. You can't build a PC without the parts that go inside the computer, right? All right, so you or you got a couple of things that are core and essential, but in real reality, you don't really need that much, right? See, all you really need is a, a CPU, a power source, uh, some RAM, a graphics card, a processor, and uh, a motherboard put to put everything on. Yeah, all right. All right, so um, first up, uh, let's talk, let's talk some RAM, right? Everyone's always wanting some more RAM, you know? It's what makes the speed happen in a computer, right? So, I have found, I've done my research and saw that the RAM, this RAM right here, the, uh, the Winchester Super X, the RAM modules, right? These things, these things will run you roughly about, uh, ten bucks a piece, and they're each about, like, Eight or four gigs. I have chosen the the four gigs in each cartridge right here. So that's four, eight, twelve. That's sixteen gigs of RAM. Ain't that a steal? Contrary to popular belief, um, stick RAM is now actually defunct. No one uses stick RAM anymore. Stick RAM is a thing of the past. Stick RAM sucks. What's all the rage these days is this module plug RAM, right? This is the stuff of the future. Next up, we need ourselves a processor, right? And our processor today is going to be the the Blueberry, the Blueberry Pi, 16 gigabyte, 18 FM, 32 module, 16 bit, right? It's um, it's still relatively uh an old processor, but in reality, you're not going to really get much else if you're looking for the, the decent under 100 price range, right? This thing has been around for a long time, and it's pretty firm and reliable, and if it's, you know, just a nice hardy computer you want, you're not going to want to get anything else other than this, right? This is like the industry standard. The industry standard. So, next up, uh, we need ourselves a power source, right? Now, so uh, I got my friend up at NASA to send me a prototype of what they've been working on, right? The NASA guys need a lot more computing to get all that work done. All that space computation and polynomials and angles and whatnot. And they've been working on a power source that you don't need to plug in anymore, right? Yeah. It's called the Perpetual Motion Generating Energy Source, right? And apparently, just uh, straight out of the box, it doesn't come pre assemble you have to uh you gotta assemble this thing yourself there's a warning label that came in the mail alongside it that that kind of explained the whole process and reason why it's not assembled it's because it's, per it's a perpetual motion power source apparently if you assemble it and you just let it run for a little bit or even jostle it a little bit it's gonna run forever and you know explode if not contained properly. You're gonna want to assemble it. Just, uh, just. I think you uh, plop that in there. All right. Yeah. Okay. You just all right. Click it in and uh, put on the stabilizing ring. Yeah. All right. You're gonna just wanna go over that. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So there it is. This is our perpetual motion power source, right? The the Dynaflex. I think this is the... Uh, let me check. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is 2.0 right here. This is the Dynaflex 2.0 Power Source Perpetual Motion Edition. The stuff they use in NASA, man, for astronauts. All right, let's talk CPUs. Okay, now I already know what you're thinking to yourself, right? Mad practice. Everyone knows the best CPU on the market is going to be the SSX Tricky 42. It's new. It's a lot cheaper than most, most people would suspect, and its specs are really, really good, right? It makes things happen so fast. You can get so many things done with this CPU, right? And to this, I tell you, no, that is incorrect. This right here, the SSX Tricky 42, is a piece of garbage that was rushed out the door too quickly. It doesn't even comply with FDA regulations, man. I, I, I don't even... I don't even think... Yeah, it says right here. Look at this, man. If you look closely, this thing only has a shelf life of 10 months. So anyone who bought this within the last 10 months is going to get their money ripped off at the end of it, man. Think about it. This thing is a piece of junk. Now, if you really want a CPU, you're going to want to get the tried and true MSG07. This thing is like a powerhouse, built to last, man. It's been proven time and time again that this is the processor to use for the under 100 market, okay? This thing got me through college, got me through grad school. All right, next up, we're talking graphics cards, right? Now, I found this one at the end of a never-ending alleyway where some kind of shady-looking salesperson came up to me and gave it to me, asking if I wanted to sell my soul for the best computing power and gaming processing that you could ever find. However... Uh, I didn't really buy his story, but I did take the card because it looked pretty interesting and I'd never really seen it before. Yeah, it looks like some kind of uh, prototype that HP gave out. Yeah, so uh, we have here HP's Lovecraft graphics card. Now, um, I'm not too sure about the specs, but... From what I did research on, I did some research on this, right? And from what I can tell, it gives off unfathomable experiences and quality when you're gaming. However, uh, despite that, I haven't been able to find more because a lot of the accounts are a bit abrupt and you can't find much more after a certain date. It's it's strange. It's like it's like it disappeared or something. Anyhow, um, well. It's a graphics card, and technically it was free, so it'll work within our budget. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Mad practice. Mad practice. Look, man, we have all these parts, but where are you going to put the things, man? What kind of screens do I need? What kind of keyboard do I need? And I say, there is no need to worry, right? Alright, so for the body, we're going to be using a swell... Inspiron CBD2. Yeah, I uh, picked this up at the local Goodwill. I mean, it's just a frame and it's the screen and the keyboard. And honestly, you really don't need that much if you're just going for straight up computing power. Yeah. Uh, if you wonder where, like, why I just use the built in screen and the built in keyboard, well, I mean, together it just uh, it came in box. Okay, so now it's time for installation. Here we are at the back of the back of the frame, the the case itself, and let's take a look inside to see what we have to work with. All right. Uh huh. Interesting. Ugh. Huh. All right. Okay. Uh. You know, it's got some character, but we can work with this. All right. First things first, you're gonna wanna install the CPU. So uh let's put the let's let's, let's put that MSG the MSG07 right there. Alright, pop that right there. Next up, we got ourselves the, the RAM slot, I think. And I had to go out and buy an individual RAM board, like one just to install RAM and put it in here because this is kind of an older model, but it still is compatible with a lot of the newer things. Like I said, man, even though it's an older model, it doesn't use stick RAM. Stick RAM is a thing of the past. Let's install let's install that uh that RAM right here. Let's put that in there. It's nice and snug. Yeah. 
Okay. Right now, install it in the main board itself. Just gonna click that right there. Okay. There we go. That's not bad at all. All right, looking good so far. All right, next up, we got to install our a uh, processor right here, and uh, just 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 get your muffin processor, right? Your blueberry processor, and just smack dab it right there on the slot. Okay, we good, we good. All right, so next up is the, uh, the GPU section, the graphics card. It looks like it has a little dongle hanging out of it, so we can just plug this straight into the car itself. Um, I'm not really sure how to put the, the dongle into the cart. Not really sure, but I guess let's take a peek inside and see what we can find. Alrighty, so, uh, let's see. Um, where do I plug it in? Beast in the Cave, The Alchemist, The Tomb, Dagon, Sam Johnson, yada yada. Ah! There it is. Memory. Where is that? Uh... Page 46, okay. Alright, huh. Interesting, next to old bugs. This thing must have been like beta tested or something. They didn't get rid of the... Ooh, the old data. Yeah, alright. Okay, so uh, let's just... Um, let's get the dongle and just... Just... Plug it in soundly right there, alright. Okay, not bad. Before I get to the power right there, I see there's a little place right here where we can put some extra stuff. Alright, let's soup up this bad boy with some little bit extra power. There we go. Now we know this is a real computer. Okay, alright, so lastly, we got ourselves uh, the power slot right here that we need to fill in. Remember, don't, don't put this thing in first, or else the, the resulting current that goes through the rest of the board is going to end up shocking you. So it's best to always put the power source in last. Remember, that's a pro PC building tip. Right, let me read what it says over here. Uh, um, okay, so to install it, basically, since it's a perpetual motion power source, you gotta you gotta start it. You gotta you gotta start the motion. Okay. Now this might just be the trickiest part. Because you're dealing with perpetual motion. You don't know how unstable this thing can be when you finally put it in. Right? Okay. Ugh. I'm just gonna... Alright. So, uh, I think... I think we got it going. Yeah, perpetual motion. Install the thing. Alright. It looks like we got ourselves some power. All right, now you're just gonna want to put everything into the machine itself. All right, just uh, stick it in there. Petrol motion and all. Ooh. Looks like the graphics card fell out. All right there. And lock it back up. And I think you should be set. You all right, so uh, hello, this is me in the future. Yeah, uh, I forgot to stress a couple important things when I was originally putting this together yeah I found that I ran into some problems afterwards now this uh do you see how this perpetual the perpetual uh the perpetual motion energy power source is uh busted yeah that's because it overheated well while, while it was about to run and stuff and all that so uh if you do have one of these things since uh, I guess not many people know much about them, but you're going to want some kind of cooling system. So I went out and uh, within the budget, right, within the budget, I got myself some liquid cooling, right? This thing is going to, it won't run you that much, but the liquid cooling is going to really help. Just click that in right there. It's going to really help the whole thing not explode after time, right? And uh, one more thing, you know, uh, I've seen this problem a lot with a lot of my friends who have built their own PCs, and that's that they neglect the the air freshener, right? You always got to have an air freshener in your PC. Lavender scent. That's uh, that's my favorite right there. Yeah. Ah, oh, smells good. All right. Yeah. But still, 
Nobody likes a smelly PC, so you're just gonna wanna plop that air freshener right, right in the side, right in the back, right there, yeah. And with this, we should be set. All right, so uh, we set everything up. Everything should be plugged in and powered up. Let's let's turn it on and see what we got. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a working computer. All right, yeah. Not so shabby for, you know, things under budget. So anyhow, if you uh if you guys are interested in seeing more of this content, like and subscribe and tell me in the comments. Alrighty, Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something today in how to be build a real computer, man. Not any of those pre-built things, man. This right here is a real computer. It'll get you far in life, carry you pretty well. Alright. Thanks for watching.